Armageddon, the End Times Conflict, an interpretation of the Hebrew prophets Joel and Zechariah with the New Testament Gospel of Matthew and Book of Revelation. After 42 months of worldwide persecution against Jews and Christians, shortly before Messiah Jesus returns to earth in bodily form, armies from many nations will assemble on the plains of Megiddo and Jezreel between Harmageddon and Hartabor Mountains. By then, both believing and faithless Jews will have returned to Israel from many nations, and they will have occupied all of Jerusalem, including their Temple Mount. Demonic spirits from Satan, from Antichrist, and from his false prophet will perform miraculous signs to deceive rulers of many nations to invade Israel. An angel of God will cause the Euphrates River to dry up, facilitating a ground invasion from eastern nations including Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey into northern Israel. North African and Arabian nations will invade from the south. Although their objective will be to liberate Jerusalem from the Jews, the massed armies from many nations will attack Israeli cities, killing, abusing, and plundering. Suddenly, Messiah Jesus will descend from out of the clouds, accompanied by thousands of powerful angels, and he will take his stand upon the Mount of Olives. Messiah Jesus will split the Mount of Olives in halves, opening a new valley as a secure way of escape for the residents of Jerusalem, and he will cause fresh water to flow for protection and for their needs. Many surviving Jews, weeping for joy, will recognize Jesus as the one whom they had crucified. Next, Messiah Jesus will shout over the land, and fire will fall from the sky. Immediately, fighting men of every nation will panic and turn against each other, whilst their flesh begins melting off their bones. Messiah Jesus will gather national leaders in the Kedron Valley, between Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives, where he will pass judgment upon them. Thus it will become known as the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which means Yahweh has judged. Thereafter, surviving Jews will settle in their promised land with perpetual peace, and for 1,000 years, surviving Gentiles will send annual delegations with tribute to Jerusalem. Jerusalem.